Take it from me, being drop-kicked into a pool of lava by the reincarnation of your dead ex-lover, I mean friend, is not an experience worth pursuing. Yet I cannot deny the existence of certain perks that come with being a defeated villain, most prominent among them being the free time. Believe it or not, plotting an apocalypse is a very time-consuming and stressful undertaking. So it's nice to be able to take a back seat and let other monstrosities try to conquer and or destroy the planet. But what does a megalomaniacal god do with such an unexpected inundation of PTO? Travel, that's what. After millennia of genocidal scheming at the bottom of the same old volcano, I'm ready to stretch my legs and see the world. And with spring break right around the corner, I've decided this will be the year I finally get out and embark on some Tamrielic tourism. However, as you are all aware, no recall or intervention can work in my place, and levitation magic was outlawed across the continent after the Levitation Act passed in 3E421. That is actual canon, I'm not fucking with you. That leaves me with land and sea travel as my only options, and given that Argonians live in and around water, I'd very much like to spend as little time on boats as possible. Yeah, I'll sail from Vardenfell to the mainland, but once I get my feet back on land, I ain't getting on another boat until I head home. With all these factors in mind, it seems that I will be forced to vacation in one of the three major provinces currently sharing land borders with Morrowind. I'd rather die again than step foot on this geographic shit stain. And I spent a whole game trying to build a robot god to wipe this country off the map, so that leaves me with Skyrim. Now listen, do I like Nords? No. But do I like beautiful snow-capped mountain peaks and lush coniferous forests? No. Still, these are the cards I was dealt, and I'm not about to piss away my retirement by refusing to play them. And so, with my pack rat and guar all saddled up and ready to go, I'm about to embark on my first spring break abroad. I've got a hell of a trip planned in Skyrim. First, I'll be visiting Windhelm for a brief skiing excursion. Apparently, there is a sizable enclave of Dunmer expats there, so I'm actually pretty excited for that leg of the journey. Then, I'll be heading into the Nordic countryside to hunt some Kaijit. Lots of caravan sightings reported in that province, and I'm definitely in need of some new pelts. Once I've killed at least a few hundred cats and hopefully driven their local population to extinction, I'll be checking out High Hrothgar. There, I plan to inform the Greybeards that my mountain is better than theirs, after which I will shit in their temple and leave before their arthritic corpse bodies can get up to do anything about it. And, uh, after that I'm just gonna do some exploring. I'm open to suggestions as to what I should check out before I head home. So definitely leave some comments down below if there's any cool sites you'd like me to visit. Meantime, expect a review of my excursion in Windhelm to be posted in a few days. I'm really excited for this trip, and I hope you will all enjoy experiencing this journey alongside me. Take care, everybody. Well, not everybody. If you are an Altmer, Bosmer, Breton, Cyrodiil, Nord, Orc, or Redguard, please do not take care. And if you are an Argonian or a Kaijit, you aren't a person anyway, so don't worry about it.